I'm sure you're all aware of Brexit and uh, Britain's decision to leave the European Union. Um, fortunately, Bristol was one of the cities that, remain, that voted to remain within the European Union. International immigration peaked in the city of Bristol in 2004 and 2005. Migrants are concentrated within the inner city wards, and I don't know if you uh, have this slide, but um, I represent the ward of Lawrence Hill, which is situated within the inner city of Bristol. Uh, until very recently, I represented 20,000 uh, people. The, the ward was actually redrawn, and I now represent just over 10,000 people. So that gives you an idea of the sort of inequality that people from migrant backgrounds may face when it comes to where in the city they actually live. In terms of health, I heard it mentioned here yesterday that um, access to health is of a particular concern for people from migrant backgrounds. I was particularly touched by the statement um, made which explained how vulnerable migrant, female migrants, when they are pregnant, are unable or perhaps unwilling to seek the medical uh, services in the host countries in the form that they are provided in. In Bristol, we've come up with a very unique tailored and special way to ensure that migrant uh, members of the migrant communities are able to access that support. We're absolutely making sure that we're able to cater to the needs of migrants from the very specific things such as personal appearance but also in terms of long-term aspirations. We have a lot of migrants with qualifications in the UK but perhaps those qualifications aren't translated over. We're ensuring that we're giving those people the support to be able to continue their life here.